Welcome everyone. Just want to go over a heat count problem uh, with uh, putting uh, some metal into water. So as you read through the uh, as you read through the the problem, uh, what you're going to realize is that we got two different uh, substances here. We've got a block of silver with a mass of 227 grams. It's put into 200 milliliters of water at 22 grams or at 22 degrees Celsius. Um, after stirring the maximum equilibrium temperature is 25.8, we want to know what the initial temperature of the silver is. Okay, so in this type of problem, uh, we have a lot of information, so my suggestion is make a T-chart, and that's what, exactly what I've done to organize information. I've made a column for silver and a column for water. I put down their masses, their specific heats. When it says the maximum equilibrium temperature, that refers to the final temperature. It's another way of saying that. Uh, so uh, we have 25.8 is your final for both. And we're going to solve for the initial temperature of the silver. So our general method for, um, for solving these types of problems is uh, we're going to assume that the heat that is absorbed by one substance will equal to the negative of the heat that's released. Uh, and so you want to judge by the initial temperatures uh, and, the, and the temperature is which one is absorbing. So when I look at the initial temperature of water, uh, we see that from the initial temperature, 22, to the final, 25.8, that the temperature went up. That means that the water is absorbing uh, heat. So everything on the absorbing side is going to, those numbers are going to come from water, and then the silver is going to go on the releasing side. Now, since we didn't measure Q directly, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in uh, our heat formula. We know that Q equals MC delta T, so in place of Q, I'm going to substitute in MC delta T, and over here, the same thing, but negative MC delta T from the heat release, bring the negative sign down. So I'm going to write, I'm going to start filling in my information, which I already have written down. From water, I have 200 grams, the specific heat. 4.18 uh, joules per gram degree Celsius. And then for water, the T final minus the initial. So uh, this change in temperature is going to be about 3.8 degrees. So I'm going to substitute in 3.8 degrees here. On the other side, I've got the negative of the mass, which is 227 grams. The specific heat is given in the problem, 0.23 joules per gram degree Celsius, and we had the T final, which is 25.8, minus your T initial. The T initial in this case is our unknown. Uh, so what we're going to do now is everything on the left-hand side is a number. So we're going to take 200 times 4.18 times 3.8, and we get 3176.8. On this side here, I'm going to multiply these two values together, 227 times 0.23. And bringing the negative sign, I've got 52.21 times that quantity, 25.8 minus TI. So the, everything on the left, I'm going to bring down uh, because it's already sort of simplified a number. And then I'm going to distribute this 52. I could do a couple, I could do this a couple ways. Um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 52.21. All right. So I'm going to take 3176.8 divided by 52.21. Oops. And now that my fingers are working, I get 60.8 here. I didn't bring over the negative sign, so I'm going to leave that here. So it's going to be negative 25.8. This is going to cancel. The negative I'm going to distribute, so negative 25.8 plus TI. So then when, um, all right, uh, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, 
I'm going to add 25.8 to both sides. This is going to cancel. So your initial temperature uh, would be 60.8 plus 25.8, so 86.6 .6 degrees Celsius. Now, once you have all the information in the original formula, if you wanted to solve this a different way, uh, that's fine. There's multiple ways of doing it. I could have distributed this 25 or this 52.21 uh, and, and ended up in the same spot. Um, I just chose to solve it a little bit different way. Uh, and uh, so thanks for watching. Um, and I hope this helps you solve heat calculations when you've taken uh, a piece of metal and putting in some water. Uh, thanks.